Well, dozens of Pueblo County homeowners are still feeling the effects of that record-setting rain we had in May. Now, the county has received about 65 reports of damage to homes. And as KRDO News Channel 13's Michelle San Miguel tells us, homeowners worry recent flooding will lower property values. As Bill Alt walks through the muddy mess left behind on his northern Pueblo County property, he's faced with an unfortunate reality. His land isn't worth what it once was. This has a value. In other words, if I, if, if I deface the Mona Lisa, it's still a Mona Lisa, but it, doesn't, it won't sell like the Mona Lisa. Alt estimates his property value decreased by $100,000 from last month's rain alone. But now instead of just flooding and going away, the water stays and stays and stays. And of course that makes the destruction and the erosion and the debris and all that that much worse. The county is keeping track of flood related damage on personal property, but has its own list of public infrastructure that needs to be repaired, like Overton Road. It fell into Fountain Creek last month. We literally can't put Overton Road back where it was. If we put it back, uh, it would wash away. Uh, it could be in just a couple of days. Before Overton Road was washed away, it used to be another way for drivers to get to and from Colorado Springs and Pueblo. County commissioners say it's just another reason why this road needs to get rebuilt quickly. If there is an accident in any stretch of I-25 in and around North Pueblo County, much of that traffic it would be routed from PPIR down into Pueblo through Overton Road. Now Pueblo County is working with FEMA to get an estimate on rebuilding the road. This was our IRA and, uh, and now it's gone. But Bill Alt knows there's some damage that just cannot be repaired. In Pueblo County, Michelle San Miguel, KRDO, News Channel 13. And Pueblo County Commissioners say this is the most damage they've seen in more than 15 years.